Hey there, McAllister here with Toasty DIY. Just another quick Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. This one's gonna be how to add meshes to your actual uh, Nanite scans or Quixel Bridge imports. This is just for any object that you bring in that doesn't have the ability for you to simulate physics when you first bring it in. So for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and take this barrel here and I'm gonna undo what I've done. Just give me one second. Okay, so now we have an object here that says simulate physics. It's grayed out. This one says true, but if I hit play, it should sink right through the floor. That, or in your case, the object may not be even moving. So, you know, if I enable gravity, it would look more like this. It just sits there and doesn't do anything. So, how do we add collisions to an object like this? What we do is we go into the static mesh of the object. So, here it is, and it looks like we have a barrel in every way we think we have a barrel. If we click on it, we'll notice we still can't select anything with physics over here. So, what we're going to do is look at its collisions. If you go to view mode in the top, you can turn on player collisions. So, this is a map of everything the player could collide with in here, and you'll notice the barrel is not showing up. This is what the wireframe looks like, but it's not collision. So we'll go back to the normal one. And the top, you'll notice collisions right here. You need to have collisions in order for it to be simulated with physics. So you could do the auto convex collision here, and then you'll get this little one here that lets you select how many sides you want. And the precision, if you hit apply, you'll get something like this. So this is the collision map for it. So we'll see it's kind of messed up. There's a little spot in the middle. Ideally, this might work for what you want to do if you want to have it just be where I couldn't walk through this barrel. The better one would be we go ahead and remove collision here and we go to 10 DOPZ, simplify collision and boom, there we go. So the nice thing about this, it has a flat top and a flat bottom. So if you tried the other mesh and you try to stack, make sure you save in the top left, try to stack these barrels. So I'll hold Alt and stack it. If I hit play, oh, I removed gravity from them, didn't I? Gravity on both. And now if I hit play, we'll see they stack on each other. If your mesh is a little odd or wonky, it'll actually just fly off in the air. So if you're having the issue of them jumping around, that's likely what you need to change is just go in there and change it to a very simple mesh. You can try out these different ones and remove them however you want to do it. But this is just a basic way to add collision to your objects. Thank you.